Uh, the one event that, you know, changed my life was the snowstorm blitz of 1987. I, I had started fishing out here in 85. And uh, in 1987, um, we came out to the island for our 10 days. Uh, and we had a big snowstorm while we were out here, which in November is nothing unusual uh, to have nor'easters out here. And, uh, but this one was uh, very violent and uh, big rainstorm, big nor'easter. After midnight, the rain changed to snow. And uh, the next morning we wake up and there's maybe four inches, three, four inches of snow on the ground out here on Block Island, which is kind of unusual. On the mainland, they had six, seven, eight inches. Um, anyway, big storms on the island have a, generally, they have a negative effect for a few days because they turn the water up. Uh, the water on the island gets very brown and, uh, and it takes a while to clean up. If you get good weather, a good stretch of weather, it'll clean up for you. Well, the fishing before the snowstorm was fairly good. There was some really, really nice fish taken. Uh, but two days after the storm uh, is when the actual snowstorm blitz uh, started to take effect. Uh, and for maybe a period of four or five days after that, anybody who was lucky to be on Block Island uh, at that time, if they f fished and gave any kind of surf fishing effort, uh, a 40 pound fish was probable, you know, a 50, uh, not out of the question, and a, and a 60 it was also, you know, a possibility. And, uh, and there were many, many taken during that period. Um, there were certain periods on Southwest Point uh, where you had 20 or 30 guys fishing out there where there was cow striped bass being landed about every 10 or 15 seconds. Uh, kind of like uh, party boat fishing. It, a lot of guys in a very confined area uh, with picture all of them or half of them hooked up at the same time with, with cows and the fish going every which way. So people were going left while people were going right. People were getting tangled. Uh, it was just a, an unbelievable event uh, that happened. And uh, a lot of fishermen who were lucky to be here at that time uh, ended up with the fish of a lifetime. And uh, the taxidermists had a really busy winter that, that winter of 87.